So your mom, and I understand that you're close to your mom and dad, um, but as you said, this tore apart your whole family. Your mother, you had kind of a bad experience with your mom where she was at her lowest period. What did she say to you? One night after yet another lengthy argument, my mother turned to me and told me I must die. Obviously at that moment that was a really difficult thing to hear, particularly coming from my mum. I was upset by it of course, but I never really felt any hard feelings towards my mother for saying that. And if I am honest, it wasn't something I hadn't already thought about. I think what probably upset me more wasn't what she said but that we were in a situation where she felt that everyone would be better off if I wasn't alive. I feel sad when I think back and remember all the feelings and upset that everyone was feeling. I am not angry or resentful or anything like that. In fact, I feel enormous compassion and love for my mum. How did you get here? How did you have all these horrible things happen to you? And you say to me, you feel compassion and love. And you're happy. When I, when I met you, you smiled just like that. When I met you, you could see it. You have love in you. How did you get there? In truth, I don't know. I am a really determined person, but I can only say that it was through God's grace, because I couldn't do it on my own. Did you believe in God before the, or, because you couldn't communicate to anyone, did you have moments of feeling connected to him? Did, did you find him through this? Did you ever question him, like, why me? Where are you? I don't know how I came to realize God. He was just always there. I don't know how to explain it really, but I always knew he was and still is there. I grew up in a Christian home, however, we very rarely attended church. This combined with the path my life has taken meant that I never really learned the formalities of the church. Perhaps it is because of all I have been through, I became very close to God. There were many, many times where, in some sense I felt utterly alone, even if there were people around me. However, I always seemed to pause when making that statement because while a part of me experienced the extreme loneliness and isolation another part of me always felt the presence of the Lord. I found myself talking to God. Perhaps, one could call them prayers rather than conversations, even though my eyes may have been open and my hands were pressed together. Through everything I went through, I prayed for help, strength and forgiveness for myself and others. I gave thanks for the blessings I had and especially for the prayers answered. Even if they were as small as someone moving my body into a different position that elevated the pain. It is amazing what you can be grateful for. Simple things that a lot of people may not even think about like to sit or lay comfortably for a while. For me God is always there, a constant companion. And yes I believe had it not been through God's hand I would not be where I am today. If I stop and think about everything that had to happen, and the odds of that happening then there is no doubt in my mind that that could only have happened through divine intervention. And to answer your other question. No, I never questioned him or wondered why me. I don't know why. I just never did. Oh my gosh. 